This is block print demonstration. So I have a piece of what's called Easy Carve. I have a bench hook, a newspaper, and I have my handle with my tool, carving tools inside. The bench hook has a hook here and a hook on this end. It will hook this in here, if I have it down, will hook onto the edge of my table so that it doesn't slide around on me. And then I have the, this end up here, it'll set my easy carve block up against, or a linoleum block, or wood block, whatever I'm carving, up against there so it doesn't move around on me and I don't have to put my hand in front of it to keep it in place. I have a newspaper underneath so that when I go to clean up, it's easy just to scoop up all my carvings and throw them in the trash. So I unscrew or pop off this handle down here for the linoleum block cutter. And then I get my different tips out. There's five different tips, depending on what you're doing, so what size you need. There's an N that has writing on it. It'll pick it up. It's just shiny. There's writing on the end of this one down here. That's the end that goes into the tip, into the handle. The other end is the sharp end, and that's the part that you cut with. Okay? So, I have a U-shape, a skinny V-shape, a skinnier U-shape, and a tiny little V. So, a tiny little V and a bigger V, a small U and a bigger U. Then this one is to make nice clean edges if you need a nice clean edge. So, I'm going to close up my handle. I'm going to say I'm going to carve out make something like this. Let's say this is someone's hair. And then layers there. I want to cut that out. So if I want this to be a nice solid piece, all smooth, then I'm going to start with this piece. I'm going to loosen this so that I can actually fit this in here. Now you'll see the ball in the middle and a thin side, and this slides between the ball and the thin side. You don't have to shove it in real far, and then you just tighten it. So this is the only one that you can cut towards yourself. So if I want this edge nice and clean, I'm just going to kind of lightly cut through here. Okay. Now I'm going to decide what shape I need to use to cut, to cut with. And I'm going to go with the bigger V right now. And I can turn this however I need to. I can turn this block, this piece of cutting easy carve, however direction I need to, to carve. I'm going to carve in the direction I want it to look like it's flowing. So I want it to flow down like this, so I'm going to hold it with both hands. That way I know my hand is back behind and not in front. And I just carve it out of there. When I stop here, when I get to that point where I made that cut earlier, it just stops and comes, pops out nicely. Once you've cut it, you cannot put it back. So you need to be careful what you're cutting. Block prints tend to leave lines. That's the style of block print. So be prepared not have a nice smooth area. 
you carve out the negative space. So if this was going to be my first color, I am now currently cutting out everything that's going to be white. Because that would leave the white of the paper. Or whatever color I'm printing on will leave that color. So if I needed a second color, then on the next block, I not only need to cut the whites out, but I also need to cut out that color, that first color, whatever it needs to be the first color. So I carve out everything except for the one color that I'm printing in. Now I'm not cutting so deep that I um, and making it too thin. I'm just cut, cutting it down just deep enough for it to drop down so that when I roll my hand over it or my finger over it, I can feel it drop down some. Okay? And then I'm going to leave that one and I'm going to go to this one. And again, my hand is back here. Notice I kind of turn my block some. Lettering needs to be backwards because remember we print in the reverse, so everything comes out backwards. So this will be flipped over. This point here will end up over here when I print. Yeah, let's see. We'll just kind of a little bit here. Give her a big eye. Make it kind of a cartoon what I'm doing here. Oh, maybe not. They were kind of a goofy now. So everything that I want to be white needs to be cut out. So I need to cut out. I need a smaller tip for inside there. I need to cut out the whites of the eye if I want that white. So right now I'm just cutting everything out that's white. 